My dearest Brooke, over the last 10 years, you and I have grown and evolved as people. We've been by each other's sides through each other's highest highs and rock bottoms and had the pleasure of seeing each other become who we are today. Do you ever think about it? I count myself very lucky to have known Brooke for the last uh, 25 years. We're so close. I feel as though we can communicate with simply a look. Brooke, it doesn't matter what paths our lives take, how different our taste in music is or how far apart we might live. You're my best friend, my confidant, my sister, and I love you and I'm so proud of the woman that you've grown to be. To spirit together when it tears. What I got inside. He's one of the kindest, most relaxed, authentic person you could ever know in your life. You just can't help but love him. All I'm really trying to say is I love you guys. I wish you all the best in this new chapter. From kids who met out on night out to the adults who stand at this altar today, we have a deep bond that connects us. Ryan, <laughs> I can't believe today is the day I finally get to call you my husband after the best decade of being by your side. That strong love and the values we share fills me with so much confidence that we can continue to grow and we'll still love each other for the rest of our lives. From the moment we met, I instantly knew you were different and it wasn't just your accent that caught me off guard. <laughs> no matter what happens in our relationship, I'm certain we'll be there to support each other through adversity, holding each other's hands through every step of the way. It was your kind and selfless nature and the way you made me laugh that had me falling for you back then. And they're still the main things that keep me loving you more and more each day. What makes me excited about being your husband and making you my wife is being by your side as we begin the next phase in our life. You are my strongest supporter, sweet tooth enabler and the love of my life. I promise to always be there for you. I promise to make flurry runs even in the worst weather. I promise to always buy chocolates and chips even when they're not on the shopping list. And I promise to strive every day to be the husband that you deserve. I see these vows not only as promises, but as privileges. I get to laugh with you and cry with you. I get to walk with you hand in hand through life as your biggest fan, shoulder to lean on and your best friend. The fact that two of you are standing here taking each other as husband and wife is a beautifully bold and brave act. I now pronounce you husband and wife. At this point, I'd like to formally welcome Ryan and Brooke into the family, even though you've been part of it for a good while now. Today, Jane and I couldn't be more proud to be part of another new beginning as Ryan and Brooke embark on their journey to starting their own family. I'm so happy to give this speech today, or what I like to call payback. I've always known I was the best man, but now it's official. Joking all aside, I wish you two the best in your marriage. Can we all now raise a glass to the Mr. and Mrs. Slater and wish them the best in their marriage? Finally, Ryan, son, I think I can call you that now, son, it's got a good ring to it. I love my daughter very much. She's like a gorgeous little female version of me. And what's not to love about that? All jokes aside though, mate, I, I know she's in excellent hands. 
with you and I couldn't imagine having a better son in law. I really couldn't. But above all else, I get to have you be the person I spend the rest of my life with. I don't have to love and cherish you, I get to. I love you today and always. Tell me something.